This has got to be one of the best packet ramens I think I've ever had. This is delicious. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Anthony here from Finding Our Adventure. Today we're gonna to be making a delicious bowl of mi goreng fried noodles. We're gonna be cooking this, boiling a pot of water here on the Coleman dual fuel white gas stove. I'm gonna be using the MSR Titan kettle and a wonderful product here, the Lightning Strike Fire Starter, which I'm gonna to use to light this. You're gonna have links to all the products here in the description below with all the stuff that I'll be cooking with today. So let's get to it. This fried noodle calls for 400 ml of fluid. This bottle holds about 500. And so we'll basically do almost the whole thing, minus a little bit. Okay, so she's lit. And we'll give that a minute to vaporize. There's a distinct sound difference now. You can hear it and I can see the blue flame at the base. So now I can put my 400 cc's of water on and we're gonna let that cook. Wow. Back to all reliable we go. I'm a little disappointed that uh, that happened, but it is what it is. Things happen. Looks like we already got ourselves a nice rolling boil. Let's back that off just a smidge. <laughs> Didn't even read the instructions yet. Simmer for three minutes. All right, so we're gonna add the noodle pack and simmer that for three minutes. Break that up a little bit. I'm gonna turn that down a smidge. Let's bring you in for that. All right, there's our noodles boiling there. Look like your typical ramen noodle. So we'll let those simmer for about three minutes and then we'll pull it out of the water. And once we remove the water, we're gonna add the seasoning and have ourselves some nice noodles. So this isn't a soup, okay? This is different. These are instant noodles, stir fry noodles. So it's not a soup. And I'd say this is almost done. The noodles are starting to float. They look pretty tender. Mm, these look really nice. I am hungry. I'm gonna let those simmer for another minute and then we will throw in the ingredients here. So we got a couple of ingredients packets that we're supposed to mix in. So once we remove the water, we will do exactly that. Mix all the good ingredients in. Well, I'd say that about does it. You can turn this stove off. Good old Japanese parts, man. These things don't fail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the lid on here. I'm gonna dump out all the water. We need to get rid of the water. And then I'm gonna mix all of our ingredients into the MSR Titan kettle. This lid stays on really nice. Like I don't need to hold it. It's got some good uh, compression on it, but holding it just in case. Here we go. Hmm, those are gonna be some good noodles. Yum, bring you guys in for the mix. All right, let's get some of these goodies in here. What do you say? Whatever this is, it looks nice and spicy and yummy. Smells delicious. Okay, chili powder. And seasoning mix.
And we need to mix that around real nice. And just because I like a little bit, just, just a dab of that water that we cooked in just to help get everything saturated real nice. That looks good. Well, we made quite a mess, didn't we? I don't know what mi goreng tastes like, but this sure does smell good. Let's clean up our mess here. Delicious mi goreng, hot and spicy noodles, fried rice, stir fried noodles, sorry. Let's give her a nice taste. It's gonna be hot. Lots of nice pepper on there. It smells great. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Definitely spicy. I don't have any water here, so. It's like I'm drinking noodle water. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. Spicy, yes. Mmm. These noodles are great. Oh man, that's good. Wow. Mmm. You guys, this has got to be one of the best packet ramens I think I've ever had. This is delicious. It's spicy, it's oily, it's got some hints of like a Thai chili pepper. So good, the noodles are tender, the noodles are fantastic. Much better than your standard ramen noodle. They actually have some flavor. This took a little bit less water than say a ramen packet, way better flavors here. And I think that's due in part to this packet here, which had some, let's see. So we had soy sauce, seasoning oil, fried onions, seasoning powder, and chili. So in combination, all five of these things created a delicious, delicious, stir fried noodle and I'm kind of bummed I've only got a couple bites left here because I could have eaten three of those packets. Mm. Wow. Wow. Last bite. Oh. It's all gone. I want to lick the inside of the bowl right now. Wow. Wow, let's pull that aside. I'm gonna lay it out flat for you guys right now. Wow. This packet just blew me away. The seasonings, the chili, the fried onion, the spice, the oils, the tender noodles. You get rid of the water, which is, you know, I guess you could theoretically turn it into a soup if you want. Wow, blown away by this packet. Now, not cheap. This packet was 99 cents versus, you know, 25 cents for a ramen packet, but flavor-wise, this blew it out of the water. Night and day difference. This tasted incredible. I wanna go make another one right now. Now, I'm not even kidding. I bought another one, I'm about to go make it. So, highly recommend these guys. If you can find these in your local supermarket, you're gonna to wanna to pick that up. Indomie instant noodles, mi goreng hot and spicy stir fry. Wow. So, hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. My belly is full, my stomach is happy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take a look at my other videos. I have a bunch of camping videos, cook videos, if you enjoy this sort of thing. If you enjoyed the channel, consider subscribing. Like the video if you enjoyed the content, and we will see you on the next adventure.